When you embed a Google slide into Canvas pages, are you struggling with getting these black bars? In this tutorial video, I'm going to show you how you can get rid of this so you have a nice clean image. The first way I'm going to show you how to get rid of this is if you've already embedded the Google slide. So I have my page here, I'm in edit mode, and I'm just going to go down back to the HTML editor to view this in code. All right, so we can see that the code here, it says iframe style. So the frame that I currently have is a width of 750 pixels and a height of 750 pixels. Then you can see down here, the Google Doc presentation has also, the, the preview is a width of 750 and a height of 750. So I'm gonna go now back to where I have created my Google slide. I'm gonna go to file, page setup, and you'll notice I have a wide screen. I'm gonna to go to custom real quick, and you'll see that it is given to me in inches. I wanna see what that is in pixels. So I have a frame of 960 by 540, and all I'm gonna do is copy these dimensions and paste them the width here, and then go back and the height right here. And then I'm also going to change here, so it's 960, and then we have 540, and then I'm going to go down, click Save. All right, so now you can see that the image is presented better. If I wanna fix this, I can just go back and re-alter the size of the screen that's displayed and play around with it. So I'm gonna do that right now. All right, so now you can see after playing around with the dimensions, I now have this clean image here. I'm gonna show you now the second way that you can get it, and it's kind of an easier way to embed an image and not have to change the dimensions. Okay, so I have this blank page opened in edit mode, and I'm going to go to my slide again, and then this time I'm going to go to file, publish to the web, embed, and then click publish. And I'm gonna say yes. Now I'm going to copy this embedded code right here that already gives the dimensions Go back here, scroll down to my HTML editor, paste it, hit save, and voila, now I have an image here that I didn't have to go back and keep adjusting. I just have it right here nice and neat with none of those black bars, all right. And that is how you can do that, guys. Uh, leave a comment below if you have any more questions about this. Uh, and thanks for watching.